Okay, what's up YouTube? This is going to be a tips and tricks video. It's going to be the little things that ADCs do that give them an advantage, and I hope you guys can use it and apply it right away. So let's not waste any time, let's get right into it. Okay guys, I'm just watching myself play Heim at the start. So I just want to show you guys how to start the game with Heim. You're going to buy your items quick, get out of base fast, start your three, you're going to walk to red buff, you're going to place one teleport by frost thing on red, about right there. Then you're going to place the other one on purple. And the point of this is to get to lane as fast as possible. Get all the farm. It's the best start for any hunter you can get. Okay, so now you're going to run out. You're going to do red with your mid. You're going to do purple with your support. And you're going to get to lane ASAP. You should theoretically get all creeps on red, purple, and wave. Sometimes your support clears them, but yeah. So I'm just waiting for my mid laner to come, buff spawn at 20. Another quick tip you can do is I time my third auto when um when the buff spawns. It spawns at like 19, 20-ish. Well, 20-ish, but a little bit before. But yeah. So I throw my third auto then. And I usually do one, two, three autos, and then teleport. And then clear purple. See, unfortunately, right here, Athena killed the smalls, but she had hogs, so it's still fine. It still works. <laughs> Don't miss any creeps of farm right here. Doesn't really matter what items you have. You'll always get to lane first. You'll always be here first. You'll always clear the wave first. And then with your wave pressure, guys, do the alpha harpy, please. You you always get it. I, I cancel with my three again, <laughs> but you almost always get this. And then you're just ahead in farm. So it's just an easy way to start the game with time that gets you a lead for free. Okay guys, another tip is going to be holding your gilded procs. This is only going to be a gilded arrow. It's going to be a way to just manipulate it so you get a little bit more farm. And you can do this with buffs, you can do this with creeps, you can do this with anything. All it pretty much is, is looking at the timer right here, and not killing the creep that's left until it goes again. So I'll show you guys here. So normally when you go to a buff, if your thing's off respawn, it'll go to a creep, right? Let's say you kill that creep, and let's say you have a few seconds left, right? You purposely wait until this procs again, you kill it, and you get a gilded proc. It's that simple. Okay guys, for this tip, I just want to show you guys how to do this little scorpion without taking any damage at all. And the way you do it, is you pull it, and before it hits you, you release it. And if you didn't know, it doesn't regen any health. You can use an ability, you can do whatever you want, but it just won't hit you if you just keep leashing it. And you'll take no damage. It's a way to just net some good, good HP, you know, you can just heal afterwards. And then, yeah, just a quick little tip. Okay guys, for this other tip with on her, or this one's with on her, I just want to show you guys how to use your pillar to not take damage from any creeps, or I should say buffs actually, and how to not take damage from buffs with on her. So it's pretty simple, you just put your pillar in between you and the buff. I'm going to use Greater Scorpion because this is what I do it mainly on, but you can also do it with purple, you can do it with alpha, you can do it with scorpion, you can do it everything. But yeah, I just auto and I just stand behind it. And it doesn't hit me at all. You just make it so your autos go to the right of it, and it just won't hit you at all. I do this a lot to start Scorpion, and just to do it without taking that much damage. Simple as that. As you guys can see, you can also do it with the Alpha Harpy, just put it in between. And once you get good at doing it with one buff, you'll be able to do it with everything. It's pretty simple, but pretty effective. Alright, so this last trick is going to be a little advanced, but if you get good at it, you can make your lighting phase much better. And before I show you guys the trick, I'm going to show you and explain how movement works for hunters while autoing. And so as you can see, when hunters are autoing, their ranged basic attack penalty is 50% reduced, right? But it can't exceed 50% when auto attacking. So at most, when you're auto attacking, you're reduced by 50% all directions, yeah? So, and right when it says this, focus on this when it says... The basic attack penalty is applied while firing basic attacks and for a short time afterwards. And that short time afterwards, it's probably between like 0 0.3, 0 0.5 seconds ish, but that's a key factor in this tip. So I just wanted to go over this real quick. Okay, guys, I'm in jungle practice right now. And what this tip pretty much is, it's for laning phase. And when you're autoing the wave, if, so if you know an ability is coming, the trick is to stop autoing so you can stray farther. So as you can see, I'm strafing it this fast, but then if I stop autoing, I go much faster. And you see that little delay? That's the delay you have to keep in mind. 
So I'm gonna just show you like an example right here and then I'm gonna show you some in-game examples. So just say I'm against someone and I'm autoing the wave and I see them about to use an ability, I'll stop autoing and move, move to the side. And then I'll go back to clearing. I'll show you some in-game examples to give you more of an idea. Okay guys, first example, I'm against a Chernabog and he throws his one at me and right when he throws his one I stop autoing to get out of the way of the one. So let's watch it. So I'm autoing the wave. Turnabout comes to the lane, throws a one, and right when I see him throw it, I stop autoing to juke it, or just to dodge it. So second example, I'm against the soul, and I use the trick to avoid soul too, so let's watch. He's coming back to lane, I'm trying to auto him, keep him out, and then stop autoing and juke it. If I throw another auto right after this uh, first one here, if I throw an auto after this, the two hits me. If I stop autoing and walk to the side, it doesn't hit me. So that's what I do, because I saw him throwing it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope these tips help improve your ADC gameplay. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.